ladies and gentlemen, you know, more and more of these articles are coming out about how the heat waves will be more frequent. So this came out in The Economist today, July 25th, 2019. Greenhouse gas emissions are increasing the frequency of heat waves. And they're even saying it will be much worse in the future. Extreme heat is ruinous to productivity, particularly if you are a criminal. Several American police forces posted messages to their social media accounts last weekend declaring a moratorium on crime. It is just too hot to be outside committing crimes, wrote one Park Forest Police Department in Illinois on its Facebook page. In some cases, it seems to have worked. We have zero customers staying the night at our hotel, so we appreciate all of the criminals adhering to the heat, <laughs> the heat advisory. I don't think they were paying attention to you police officers. If they had common sense, they're not going to be out there committing crimes because it's too hot and they know that naturally. I don't think they have to look at a Facebook page to figure that out. Okay. So, um, we, let me just go down a little bit, taking credit for something that's common sense. Okay. The messages came as scorching temperatures swept across America, placing more than 100 people, 100 million people under excessive heat warnings. Yes, in fact, I read it was up to 250 million people. It was two-thirds of the American nation. So temperatures hovered around the side of 40 Celsius, which was about 100, on the East Coast on July. So, <coughs> um, ladies and gentlemen... There was a football player, some of you might have heard about this, the 18th of July, Mitch Petras, a well-known retired player of American football, died of a heat stroke after working outdoors all day. Wow, in 100 degrees? Woo, that wasn't too smart. At least five other deaths have been reported. You know... I think people are going to have to prepare for what the future is going to be in America and just preparing not only yourself, your children, jobs are going to have to prepare for the future, um, especially if you have an outdoor job like delivering mail or just any type of outdoor activity, you're just going to have to find alternative ways or not even do those jobs on excessive heat days and just postpone it until it's safe to be outside. I'm not surprised about the deaths because I, I remember deaths from the excessive heat when I was growing up. There were always fatalities, you know, mainly, you know, elderly and children. So that being said, people are going to have to prepare for what's coming. Are you going to be able to handle getting in a car on a 100 de uh, degree day or even hotter to make yourself... <laughs> you know, uh, across a highway going to work and coming back home. Are you prepared for that? Because there are some jobs, they don't give a damn about what the weather is like. You need to bring your ass to work. Many of them are like that. So in the event where you have to possibly drop your children off and you have to go to work and then 
make that trip back home, it's going to be treacherous. It really is. I just don't know how people are going to hold up because, like I said, these heat waves, not only are they going to be more frequent, they're going to get longer and longer and longer. And then the next thing you know, you may have two, three weeks in a row of weather ranging between 90 degrees and 100 degrees or even higher. Look at what's going on in Europe. I Let me tell you something. I never seen temperatures go up that high in Europe. You know, European summers are usually around 70. Sometimes you get a few days in the 80 degree range, but 90s and 114 and 109. No, <laughs> that is not what Europe sees. But they are seeing that now. You know, it's almost like now there's really no big distinction between European weather this summer and weather in places like parts of Africa and Saudi Arabia and over there what you call the Mideast, which is really all Africa. But it's in those temperature ranges. And the people can't do nothing but go outdoors because they have no air conditioning. You know, it's not like here in North America where everybody can just hit a switch or a remote and turn their air conditioning on or turn the central air on in the house. They don't have that luxury. It's not like you can walk in a department store and air conditionings can be bought all over the place. They can't. You know, because see, back in the day, they really didn't need anything beyond a fan. That was it. So life is changing and it's going to change for everybody on this planet, ladies and gentlemen. It's changing for us. And, you know, I I'm kind of glad in a way that... I can see how bad it gets just from the power going out in my area and all across New Jersey, Pennsylvania, because it's probably a dose of what we're going to see nationwide in this country. You know, unfortunately, the power grids in America are not in good shape. They're not. You know, and I remember when our power went out, one by one, you could hear all of the transformers around us buzzing. And I knew we were going out because the power was so unstable. And that went on for about three hours. It was unstable. It was popping on and off. And then finally, it just went completely off. And then we heard the transformer in back of us and some a few streets over you could just hear them all buzzing you know and everybody was out the in fact the night we went to the hotel i looked outside nothing was on it was complete pitch black the street lights were out everything was completely dark and even on our our ride to the hotel it took Look, it was a 10-minute ride, but it ended up taking about 35 minutes because the traffic lights were out. The cops were trying to redirect the traffic, and it was a mess. It was really a mess. And unfortunately, it really brought the reality to me that this is probably the future. It's probably going to be what's going to happen in the future in this country. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting to see many of these articles saying that this is going to be our future. And this hot weather will get worse. And I believe it. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe.
Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.